Hello everyone, what I'm about to show you today is how to set up conversion tracking. This is going to be through AdWords, but you can also do it on Microsoft Ad Center. So here we are on the home screen of not a client. I don't have any data here, but this is a new interface for AdWords. And we're just going to pretend like we're Amazon.com and we're setting up conversion tracking for Amazon and their PPC campaign. Since they're um, an e-commerce site, they should be a great example for what we're going to do here. So, first thing you want to do is click on Reporting and Tools, go to Conversions, once the page loads, you'll see this button right here that says New Conversion. So you kind of go ahead and click it. And at this point, you want to define what your action is. So it can be a sale, most typically. It can be a lead, if somebody gives you their name and email address. And you'll see other uh, options for tracking down here. So it could just be the view of a key page that you want your customers to see. It's up to you. But generally, the best way of tracking a conversion is an actual sale when somebody makes a payment. So we're going to say, for Amazon's sake, sale. And let's say sock sale. So the select select a tracking purpose is next, and this is obviously a purchase sale, like we talked about before. So you click Save and Continue. And then you're going to want to choose your page security level. If it's a secure page, HTTPS is what you want to do, but it's generally going to be HTTP. You can see more info here revenue for your conversion. So, if we sell our socks for, these are going to be relatively expensive socks, I'd say, but $10 a pair. We say $10 here. So this is just a way to easily track your ROI, your return on your investment, and it's better if you know, if you have something that's kind of obscure, like a lead, and you, you think that a lead generally one out of ten times turns into a sale, you have to do a little bit more of a complex calculation in your head, but like this says right here, it's an optional option. So this is just for your own sake. This is going to be in English. That is the language I'm speaking right now, in case you haven't figured it out. This is an optional thing you have you can show people that you're tracking by selecting one of these two radio buttons here. I like to do none, and they say that's kind of dishonest of you, but I, I really think it's innocuous if you're tracking sales. Uh, there's cookies all over the web, and uh, if you feel like you want to do that, then go ahead. So we can do that. And then you can customize the background color of this. We'll leave it at white. So save and get code is what we click next. And there you have it. You get the code here. Select it all. Copy it. And then it tells you where to paste the conversion tracking code. And you can just send this to your webmaster if you want. And put it between the body tags. I would put it right before the closing body tag if I were you but that is up to you and then you can see below that you have the option to send your conversion tracking code to somebody else and you just type in their email right there and then hit send so one more thing I want to say is that where you put your tracking code is obviously important so if we're on amazon.com socks let's say that we're selling Canes, and that looks like about our price that we had down in the conversion tracking. So where the code goes, 
let's say the person clicked add to cart after they came through your ad and came to amazon.com and came to this landing page the code is actually going to be where you check out so ultimately once you place your order and get the thank you message the order confirmation page that's where you want to put your code because that page only shows up for people that have actually made a purchase so tell your webmaster to put the code on whichever page you have that says thank you for making your purchase make sure you have one of those pages if you're tracking leads make sure that you have a page that says thank you for submitting your contact information basically you want to have a page that shows up after the person completes the action that you desire and that's where you put the tracking code so I hope this lesson has been helpful make sure you take advantage of this conversion tracking feature it's an absolute necessity for PPC thank you and have a good day